So technician is really trying hard to go as fast as he can so he could put the other new condenser on the system and he has to do the whole core support and while I've been doing a couple other vehicles here at the same time you've seen the video on this one and the other one um, this is all in a rush to try to get me to do as many vehicles in here today recoveries and recharges before I jump on to the airplane to go to the MACS uh, seminars and training so this is a rush i only got a few hours to go and uh, i have to jump down to another shop a few blocks away in another shop pound out a bunch of recoveries and recharges and um, and then he should have this partially i told him he doesn't have to have it all put together just put this in place with like two screws forget all the hoses forget all the wiring if you place the condenser, the new condenser, where's his new condenser? Well, if he places his new condenser back into the cradle and has it so it's just hooked up and dangling here safely, then I can start doing a vacuum on it while I go do some other jobs and come back and recharge it instead of waiting around here or just coming back and do it. We, we can bump this thing out really fast. They can get all their customers delivered to the car. I get all the work. Everybody's happy and uh, we get stuff done. All right, I'll see you. And it's all time management. Like there was a, a little miscommunication. The technician who worked on this did not tell the shop foreman, the manager, that this vehicle was ready for air conditioning. I discovered that because I was walking by and I seen how clean it was. And I remember I, I recovered this because my label is on here with my date. And um, so it was ready and so I jumped onto this one right away and that kept me here a little longer and uh, and also got me another job they didn't even know that we we're going to be pounding out so in this case I would have been on the flight back in Tennessee at MACS and then a technician would say oh we need the AC charge but oh well now we got to go drive it somewhere to get the AC charge because our AC guy is uh, back in Tennessee so a lot of this kind of miscommunications happen in the shop. There's a lot of delays and it costs the shop the bottom line, profits, not just gross profits, the net net profit. And unfortunately, many technicians don't understand if you lose the shop a couple hundred dollars, it's actually more than that in time delays and having to do redos or anything like that. There's more money involved instead of that little bitty time that us as technicians, when we're working with our hands, that's involved in losses when communications and things don't flow smoothly. Uh, I'll see you guys. Just a rant about communication between technicians and, and owners and managers and supervisors and foremen, depending on how your shop is set up. And then there's the wild, wild west where the owner doesn't work on cars. Any of the supervisors really don't know about working on cars and they hire a bunch of young guys who don't know procedures and they've been through no formal education they haven't been through apprenticeship they don't know about running shops and they're learning their next 10 or 15 years to get a program together and that's a very unproductive and very unprofitable way to run a business just coming from experience i'll see you guys i see the ones who do and i see the ones who don't and there's definitely a big difference all right catch you later